Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, show me about that refi and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show, yeah, me, about yeah, that yeah, show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is, is Ace has said, we have a lot of options and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it, take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them $700 a month, $800 a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. $700 yeah. a month, that's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Hey, it's Ace. And for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue. And uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. They say there are only two things certain in life. Sweet deals at sweet dreams and taxes. And only one of those is certain this month. Which one? The sweet deals at Sweet Dreams. What about the taxes? No sales tax the entire month of April at Sweet Dreams. Are you serious? Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and pay no sales tax during the month of April. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. It's the Ace and TJ Show. With a little extra. With a little extra. Uncensored. Unedited. And almost uninterrupted. Get ready for the most extra podcast known to man. The Ace and TJ Show presents the Extra Funny Podcast. Hey, welcome, welcome. Yo, yo. Um, I've been meaning to ask you this, Rob. Um, but we were talking about the other day, you shaved your mustache and then like a little circle under your lip mm -hmm. so your CPAP mask would seal off better, mm -hmm. right? Correct. Um, is it working? No. Right. Because I noticed you got a little bit of growth back on it, and that seems like if it, if it's use, you're using it to seal the mask that you would need to be shaving it about every day, but it looks like it's growing back a little bit. Yeah, it, did, it didn't help any, so I'm just – Yeah. I'm going to leave it for a while. When's the last time you've been completely – uh, smooth faced, you know, oh, with, think, with not even a, a, as much as a mustache. Oh, it's probably been a couple of years because I did the stash thing at the end of last year. Yeah. I don't, I don't ever remember you not having some kind of facial hair. I think the last time I'm, uh, and most of the times that I've ever been clean shaven are because I messed up when I was trimming. Yeah. I just had to start from scratch from the Yeah. Day. I know there was one day that you ended up, I think you were clean shaven, but you, because it was because you screwed up. Yeah. It happens a lot. Mm -hmm. You got a, a hunk out of your left side of your beard or something accidentally. <laughs> but he he uh, he changes it up a lot. Mm -hmm. his, I get bored with it. His facial hair. But you never get bored with it enough to just shave it all off on purpose? No, because I know it. I, I think anyway, I look weird without it at this point. Oh. Because I remember when I, when I was younger, my dad would uh, shaved one time and nobody recognized him. So I, I, I don't know. I just didn't like it. So, so you think clean shaven, you would look weird. I think so. Cartoon T-shirts, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> do, you also, think, do you think we wouldn't door. recognize you if you came in clean shaven? <laughs> I, I, you might be like, well, who are you? Yeah. Like, who is that in the Power Rangers T-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> is that you, Rick? No. no Riggins is over here. Over here. <laughs> who must that be? 
<laughs> I will tell you though that when I started doing this shave pattern, uh-huh. I was going for the the Wolverine look. Oh, hang on, I'm gonna pull that well, up because I need to know exactly what one. that is. Hugh Jackman Wolverine. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, um, my wife, uh, I think, has manipulated the situation with my facial hair perfectly for her. Um, she likes when I uh, she likes that I have. Uh, beard slash scruff or whatever but she also um i can't uh kiss on her much because it hurts her mm. oh so i wonder if it's that she really likes it or she's just trying to repel me all the time yeah, that's what it is but it's worked yeah <laughs> mission accomplished yeah. you scratchy <laughs> Well then, I'll just go. Sh- no, I like it. Just not, not touching me. <laughs> okay, that's the dream for every man. Uh huh. My mom used to say the same thing about my dad. It's scratchy. Oh, yeah. so now he's clean shaved. Yeah, but your mom didn't say it's scratchy, and then he says, "Okay, well, I'll shave," and she says, "No, don't do that." <laughs> yeah, no, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rick. Yeah, no, she didn't definitely do that. <laughs> they do a weird thing when they kiss, like because it's not you know a lot of PDA, but yeah. they you, you know I see them kiss a couple times, and it's very slow. I don't know if it's because they're getting older, but they go in super slow. It seems like hmm. like they just each take their time. You know, if he's you know if he's leaving to go play golf, he's like, all right, bye. And she'll she'll be sitting down. She won't get up, but he'll slowly, and you know she'll be sitting there, you know, with her lips well, pursed. And then he goes and so I'm like, Let, like let's go, just kiss her. What are you doing? Is it, well, is it's the, kind of both of them or just one of them? That she you, doesn't seem to kind of make any effort uh, yeah, to get closer right. to him. Right. As so, somebody who lives that, I told you the hardest thing in the world is to hug somebody who is sitting down that won't move. <laughs> yeah, when they're on a couch or you yeah, know, she's chair. got a blanket on. Yeah, so. I think the slow movement is basically the the older you get, the more, you know, that bending over is harder. I think that's probably you, what it is. Because you're trying to bend over and then maintain your balance and you don't yeah. want to fall into. And, and, and again, they're not fast, doing anything be, yeah. to help. They're right. not raising up. Yeah. You know, she just kind of like slightly well, lifts her head. Jody like, used to just, like, she, she would help a little bit yeah. when we were younger. Uh, she just like throw her cheek up there. You know, and is there a moment where you're not sure? Like, are they, are they, and you know, like, is she going to move in to help me? So you kind of go oh. slow just to make certain that I, you judge <laughs> no, the distance yeah. correctly so you don't bump into each other? No, I know she's not going to lean up to help me. Okay. But I've been in a situation before where I'm trying to get, and I'll just go, forget it. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Never mind. I have my back's hurting today. I don't I can't, need it. I, I can't do not that. Not that big a deal. Mm. Why is it taking so long for them to kiss? Jody's parents uh, kiss. All the time, like like baking out, kind of. Oh, really? No, they don't. Oh. But um, <laughs> one of them doesn't leave without kissing the other one. Yeah. Even if they're going to be gone to the store, you know. Yeah, my parents are the same way. Mm-hmm. It's gross. <laughs> Might be a Midwest <laughs> thing. I don't know. Yeah, well, maybe so, um, because they're from the Midwest, but Jody's not. Jody is from the South, but they're from the Midwest. And so, um, but her family, they're not there. Her whole family is not a, uh, you know, touchy feely affectionate bunch. Mm -hmm. And I figure it's, you know, how the working in the cornfields and stuff. Of course. We hug corn. Yeah. My arms are too tired picking corn to be able to (laughs) hug somebody. (laughs) Rob, do you kiss Meredith when you leave the house? Well, not in the morning because she's dead asleep with yeah. the CPAP mask. But yeah. Oh, see, that's the only time I get to. <laughs> if I Jody, I basically sleep assault her. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're if you're going to play games and, and, and she's at home, Rob, and you were going to leave, would you stop and walk back to her and just say, oh, hey, I'm, I'm fixing to go. See you later. You know, yeah. Love you. Kiss her kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. But rarely is uh, am I leaving to go somewhere when she's at home. Because she's, almo- she's almost never at home. <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. How does that but if, make you? But feel? if you are, you do kiss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does she make an effort to give you a kiss before she leaves? Uh, no, I, 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 don't th- I think it's probably about the same for, between the two of us. Um, yeah, I think she does actually. Now, that okay. Do you kiss before bed? No. Yeah, I don't even like rub masks together. No. 
Give it a... God, mm. I would love to see. Give me some sugar. <laughs> <sighs> How much movement does the CPAP mask have? Like, if you have it on, can you move in the bed like is there a, a, yeah, it's a enough long hose, hose that, okay yeah. so if you wanted to kind of slide over to the other side or something you could move around yeah. with it without yeah, the, right when i was young if you would have told me that that was the kind of hose i was going to have in bed with me <laughs> yeah, i would have called you a damn lie yeah. if you got enough hose anything's <laughs> possible <laughs> <sighs> i'm trying to get off of it. i'm trying to wean myself off of it off the cpap machine yeah I mean, is that possible? Mm. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but uh, I don't, can you do that? Yeah, I mean, you don't have to breathe that much. I think it depends on how you, why you have sleep apnea. Uh -huh. So if it's beca if it's because you're fat, then you have to you know lose some weight, and then maybe you don't have to use it anymore. But if mm -hmm. it's like hereditary, now nah, you got to use it for the rest, rest of your life. Yeah, I think I need to go take that <laughs> test, that sleep <laughs> test. Yeah. Yeah, so if you're, because I always tell people that, I always go, um, yeah, but I snored and everything even before I got fat. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't want to go, well, of course you need a CFAT, uh, CPAP <laughs> machine. <laughs> they Fluffy. gave me the CFAT machine. <laughs> mm -hmm. CFAP machine. I don't know what's <laughs> happened, but I got a CPAP. There's so many young people on social media with CPAPs now. Uh, I don't know if it's it, the number's gone up, but there are so many stories of like, how am I supposed to date with with all this? You know, go staying over at somebody's house for the first time, and I got to pull up. And I get that. That's got to be like, if you're still dating, that's a weird thing to have to sort of navigate. But couldn't you just go? I don't know. I I think mm -hmm. once you start using the CPAP, your body gets used to using it, so you kind of do have to have it. Yeah, you could sleep because I've gone places before and um, and forgot to pack one part of it that wouldn't work. Right, and you just wake up all night because you can't breathe. Mm -hmm. you, you, but you can go to sleep in and out. I yeah. do. I go to sleep in and out and wake myself up snoring or whatever. But um, my friend Mark has something different. His is not sleep apnea. It's something else where he actually. Like dangerously stops breathing in the night without it, and Oof. he can't sleep one night without it. Damn, because he might die. Um, and, he, and he's not fat. <laughs> <laughs> so we throw that in at the end. And he's not fat. So. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, you know, anytime Republicans or conservatives find one celebrity that is not a an ultra radical liberal they start holding him up to everybody look we got chuck norris right. we got frazier it's the same way with me it was like oh he has a cpap and he's not fat yeah. at all look. he's skinny so it's not because i'm fat <laughs> <laughs> i told you <laughs> See? it's the ace and tj show with a little something extra this is the extra funny podcast when it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitron. Winter is here, which means you're just going to stay inside and not do anything fun and exciting, right? No, that is wrong. Because this year, you're going to go to acetj.com slash Gaston and see all of the incredible things that you can do right now in Gaston County. Everything is laid out for you from things to do to restaurants to bars to shopping to unique weekend activities. And we'll get you ready for the spring and the summer with a list of all their great festivals. Find all of this and much more at acetj.com slash Gaston. If you're so frustrated because you're having to run around all the time, you're so busy, you feel like you're not getting your family something great to eat, then you need Culver's. It's the perfect thing for you. Always made to order fresh, hot ingredients all day, every day. And not only do they have the freshest ingredients all day, every day, but they are a part of the community. They're proud to be a part of the Indian Trail community where they're under new ownership. Belmont, University Area, Salisbury. Make them a part of your daily routine. Make it your new neighborhood spot. Short waits for the freshest food in town. Get details at a tj.com slash culvers